Right now, the search is on for the person or people responsible for a violent attack that left a man dead in Rio Linda. His body was found on a bike trail near Elkhorn Boulevard, just blocks away from Rio Linda High School. Fox 40's Doug Johnson is live in Rio Linda with the latest on this investigation. Doug, what's going on? Well, so Siri, we're actually here in downtown Sacramento at the Sheriff's Department, and at this point in time, detectives do not know who attacked this man or why, but they think that some witnesses can help them fill in the blanks. The bike path across Dry Creek from Roy Hare Park is a peaceful place. Well, that's the bridge. It, a lot of bikes go across. The park is where Les Whitaker often takes his lunch breaks. Well, I come down here all the time to let my dog run, and a lot of kids come down here and play. But between 2 and 5 Sunday afternoon, Sacramento Sheriff detectives say this is where a 76-year-old Hispanic man was brutally attacked. At this point, we believe this was a deliberate act. It was a violent act, and it was not an accident. The victim did not survive. Whitaker says he would often see the victim hanging around the park. Nice guy, walked with a cane. I couldn't see why anybody would hurt him, to tell you the truth. Whitaker says there are homeless who camp throughout the area, but he says most of them are harmless. They normally sit right here on these benches and don't bother nobody. Detectives are not yet releasing a motive. However, with a BMX course, go-kart track, and baseball field all nearby, they believe witnesses may be the key to missing clues. Really, we're looking for anyone that may have seen anything, and that, that could be you know, just something as simple as uh, this older man walking around with someone else. Whitaker hopes whoever is responsible is brought to justice. Can't believe they've done it to an old man like that. And detectives have not yet released the victim's name, but we're told he has lived in that neighborhood for a number of years. Reporting live in downtown Sacramento tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. All right, Doug, thanks so much. A lockdown at Kennedy High School.